I got an email that said, uh, do you want to come and see our satellite clean room? Yes. Yes, I do. How do you get into this thing? This is the, uh, the clean room area. We have uh, a working environment here for the people to work clean. Basically, this is a box in a box. And on the roof, we, uh, we have some filters. And also in the walls, we have uh, ventilation. So the air is always going downwards. And this is also a laminar flow clean room. So the air is also going straight down instead of in vortexes. This is Innovative Space Logistics in the Netherlands. Originally a spin-off from TU Delft's engineering department, they now launch CubeSats, like this one. Okay, it's, it's a model, that's why I'm allowed to touch it. But they launch satellites like this into actual space. I mean, the rockets go up from all over the world, but some of the satellites that are on board, put together right here. But the gauge behind me is a customs area uh, where we have the satellites um, enter the clean room, but not the Netherlands. And that's for export reasons. Technically, we're exporting the satellites to a country, which is the country of launch, but they are exporting to space. And space doesn't uh, have a box on the forms. There are international standards for clean rooms. They go from ISO 9, which is just normal air, to ISO 1. Now, this room is only ISO 7, which doesn't sound very impressive until you realize it's a log scale. Each level of that standard requires a tenth of the dust and particulates. So this room guarantees less than 1% of the dust outside it. So the main contamination source, and that's also why I'm wearing all of this, is uh, uh, particles that are released from our own bodies. Dead skin cells, hairs, uh, if you smoke even, uh, uh, air you exhale, beard in my case because I have a beard mask on, cardboard, paper, velcro, basically stuff that can hold particles and release it when you don't want to. And it's not just the dust particles that you can see. Those are actually pretty easy. Clean rooms also have to remove microparticles, things smaller than a bacterium. You don't have to get them all, but you do have to get most of them. This is a small communication satellite called Naive One. And this, uh, this satellite will be a communication experiment and also will be used in classrooms for teaching about space. Schools can pick up the signals from this uh, satellite, decode them in the classroom and uh, teach about space, teach about radio. In here, the worst case scenario is contamination on a camera lens or a vacuum gyroscope that fails while it's doing 10,000 RPM in space. This down here is an actual satellite. It's headed for space later this year, and I've got to stand back from it. Because if I lean over, dust from me or, or spittle from my mouth could fall down. Won't break anything right now, but in zero G, in vacuum, with direct solar radiation shining down on it, you can't exactly call a breakdown service to fix your satellite. So, for safety's sake, it is kept very, very clean. But those ISO-1 clean rooms, uh, they're for very different missions. ISO-1 clean rooms is a very clean and basically for Mars missions or missions to the moon where we do not want to contaminate the surface of a planet or a body that we go to. Are you sending anything to Mars anytime soon? Uh, not at the moment, it's not planned, but maybe in the future we will uh, we'll send uh, something to Mars, we never know.